And I too am favorably impressed with this new asset for the Miami County area located here in Troy, Ohio. So let's get started now. Please keep in mind that we're going to be giving out 91 grants today. And so we're asking individuals who are receiving a grant to share briefly what they'll be doing with that grant money. You know, it's, many of you have responded not only with gratitude for the grants that the Miami County Foundation is providing, but you've also indicated this is a great opportunity to do some networking or arrange for some networking in terms of common interests that you and other nonprofit organizations may have. So with that, if we, even a minute per grant is an hour and a half. Now somehow, we're always, we have always been able to do this in an hour. So some of you have been not taking your full minute, which is fine. Otherwise, you'd never be able to do that. Before we get started, we have some members of our board here, and I would ask that they would wave or stand whatever they're comfortable in doing. Uh, Joe Duncan is over here. He'll probably wave since he is standing. Dave Larson is in the back standing. Then we have Jennifer Lawfer-Smith. She's back uh, with the money. <laughs> Carol Cote, I see over here. She's going to be helping you along with Joe when it's your rose turn to come up on the outside, remember? Not down the middle. <laughs> and then we have some committee members. It would be impossible for the Miami County Foundation Board, uh, even though we have a lot of very hard-working volunteers, it'd be impossible for us to achieve being able to do all that needs to be done. So we have some advisory committee members, and I noticed that some of those uh, advisory committee members are also here. Mark Earhart, I saw Mark, and he's in the back of the room waving. Uh, uh, Mark Earhart is here. Also, okay, I just, I re you must be a hard worker. I introduced you twice. <laughs> Mike Ham is here, waving, and uh, we also have uh, Jay McClellan, who is over here. And of course, you know, we have a lot of volunteers, and Cheryl likes all of them a lot, but her favorite volunteer is also here, and uh, her mother, who is helping with refreshments. <laughs> Now let's go uh, to the job at hand, but before doing that, uh, all of you have at your place some information, and I hope you'll take the time to review that information. It has the mission of the Miami County Foundation on it, and I'm going to summarize it just simply saying that Richard Hunt, who started the foundation with three volunteer board members, and he said over and over again, remember, when you set this up, it's important to always emphasize people helping people. Now, granted, the foundation, in terms of passing out the grants, well, we enjoy doing that. But we also recognize that if it were not for you, the foundation really couldn't achieve anything. So vicariously, <coughs> we're glad to see all of you here because the value of the foundation, emphasizing Richard Hunt's goal for this foundation, is up to you. So we want to express to you our appreciation for what you're doing with the money. And we also recognize that you have other assets that you add to this grant. Maybe it's money, it's volunteer help. And so the actual amount of $216,044 really doesn't represent the value of all that you do. So we want to thank you as we have our biannual distribution of grants. 1986, the first time we did this, we, <laughs> we distributed $15,000. Today it's over $216,000. And we do it twice a year. If you add it all up since we had that first year with $15,000, it's 
we're talking a little over seven million dollars that you have utilized in helping people to help people. We also have a number of designated scholarship funds. We're glad to do that. If you would like to have uh, make provisions for a scholarship to honor or memorialize someone in your family or, or a friend, uh, talk to Cheryl. We'd be glad to work with you. And we manage several endowment funds for individuals who have an interest in providing some resources for the nonprofit organizations within Miami County. The funds that we receive have been enhanced. Uh, Andy Pratt, uh, who chairs our board, well, he's a past chairman of our board, he had an idea that there were a lot of businesses that really benefit indirectly and some directly from the nonprofit organizations work in Miami County and thought some of them might like to become our business partner. We have a list now on here, 24 business partners. This is the second year that we have been talking to businesses who have an interest in becoming a partner in what's being done. In case you know of someone who uh, your business or someone that you know would like to become a partner, there's an informal arrangement where $1,000 per year for 10 years is donated, which increases the money that we can invest and use it over and over and over again. The reason it's informal is because if you're having, if you're a business and you're having a bad year, Joe, it never happens in the lawn care business, I know, uh, then you can skip that year, or you can do 500 or 100. And if you retire and sell your business, then you can, your business is relieved of the responsibility of continuing to support the foundation by being a business partner. So please keep in mind, as you come forward, we'll be timing you. <laughs> and you'll need to look at the camera this is being recorded for television purposes. One minute, all we, we don't want to know everything you know, we don't have time for that. We just want to know what you're going to use the money for. So with that, who's going to start? Joe, you're going to start your aisle, and Carol, you're going to start your aisle, and come up the outside and turn to your seats the same way. And be sure to introduce yourself so that networking thing can start happening. Hello, my name is Cindy Cathcart and I'm the principal of St. Patrick's School. We have been um, truly blessed for the Miami County Foundation for years and we continue to be. And I'm grateful to accept um, three different awards today. One was for um, $4,669 for our, um, to enhance our gymnasium auditorium with project projection screens, projectors and a sound system. Also, um, $1,400 to enhance our STEM program by bringing in um, COSI and WACO for our students. And we also received $2,500 um, for the National Adventures Hall of Fame. We hold camp convention at our school every year for a week for um, all the students of all the Troy schools. We do that every year. So I want to thank the Miami County Foundation for supporting us. Thank you. My name is Patsy Cavender. I attend Lockington United Methodist Church. We have a ministry program called God's Grocery Giveaway. We've had this program for just right at nine years now, and Miami County Foundation has been very gracious to help us in all of those years. And, you know, um, sometimes we get weary of doing work, don't we? But I tell you, when someone looks at you and says, if it wasn't for this food program, I wouldn't be able to buy my medication that I need. Your heart fills. So I thank Miami County Foundation for their support, and God bless you. Good morning, I'm Rebecca Susek, and I'm the Executive Director from Pequa Compassion Network. And I want to thank Miami County Foundation for supporting us for so many years and being able to uh, support so many of our efforts, our programs. And this year, we're receiving monies 
from the foundation for um, projection equipment, screen equipment that we can use for our classrooms. We can also be able to go out and do trainings, job uh, placement trainings, job um, readiness, and just being able to provide webinars in our facility. So again, we thank the foundation for many years of support. Hi, I'm Becky Griswold. I'm the fiscal manager at the Family View Shelter, and it is my pleasure to accept this grant. We use the humanitarian funding just to purchase our ongoing um, costs to run our two shelters. We have the men's shelter, Buckeye House Homeless Shelter, and the women's Franklin House Homeless TV Shelter. We use it for food, clothing, anything that we would run our own personal households with, we're doing it at a much larger scale. Um, currently, we have helped 380 unduplicated clients, Miami County clients, this year, and 8,674 bed nights. Barb, our executive director, could not be here today. She asked me to thank the Dugan family for the grant that they have given us and for their ongoing support. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Linda Kramer from Give Medical Ministry in Covington, Ohio. We loan uh, used medical equipment to individuals in need at no cost to them. Most of our equipment is donated to us by members of the community. And a lot of those items are larger, like hospital beds. And so we provide the service of going to pick those up. And this grant is helping us add some safety features to our van, um, like a safety partition to protect the drivers from the equipment shifting in the back and, and cruise control. Um, Miami County Foundation has always been very gracious in assisting us and we appreciate, thank you. Hi, I'm Marie Spears, I'm from New Path Outreach in Tip City. Um, we uh, do a lot of outreach ministry here in Miami County. Uh, the money that we are receiving will go to fund our food pantry and to provide emergency financial assistance um, to our members of our community. I'm Brian Rohr. I'm the elementary principal at Miami East. We had two grants awarded, awarded to us from the foundation. One is for our high school academic team. We have a, a package that we've bought to uh, provide another uh, academic team to our high school. So we're excited about that. And then also we are adding some robots to our um, code club at the elementary. Uh, Mr. Roth has uh, written the grant and he's excited to have um, another Kindle and more robots that are going to be added to an after school program that we do with code. So we thank the foundation for that. My name is Paula Shaw. I'm one of the counselors at Milton Union High School. I'm going to accept um, some grants for um, a couple different programs we have. Um, for we're starting a new culture and in, cultural initiative at the high school it's our factor with focus three so we have money for that so thank you um, the teachers have already started getting training in that and then for the high school um, the band requested to purchase a teaching speaker system so thank you for that I'm Abby Gowdy uh, we are leaders for the freshman focus program and basically we just build relationships with the freshmen throughout the year and it has increased our graduation rate 14 percent so thank you my name is Kyler Schatz and I'm the vice president of NHS and we wanted to thank the Miami County Foundation for allowing us to allow more members to enter our society by paying our dues I'm also a member of BPA and we wanted to thank you guys for allowing us to send kids to nationals as we did last year in competitions Thank you. Good morning. My name is Steve Kaplan. I'm with the Troy Lions Club Charities. And our primary mission is vision care. And the Miami County Foundation has been very supportive of us over the years. We get two grants, an ongoing grant. It's on the back of your program for eye exams. And then they also allow us to participate in do a uh, regular grant to do for eyeglasses and we use that money to help the people in the community that can't afford them. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Carol Garver from the West Milton Senior Center and we're just so happy to get this grant. We are work very hard to get our building totally accessible and this grant is going to be used to refurbish our bathrooms which were installed in 1987 and 1990. Uh, the people can't turn the faucets on anymore. They're the pull-on kind. 
and they're becoming very aged. So we're going to use this to update our bathrooms, and that's going to be a big blessing to our building. Thank you. I'm Rosemary Saunders, and this is John Garver and Carol Garver, and we are with the Arc of Ohio Miami County here in, uh, and we are the committee for Miami County. Um, we do things for people with developmental disabilities. One of the largest things that we do is a bowling league for 18 weeks every other week, and um, Miami County Foundation has given us money to be sure that we can buy shirts for everyone in the bowling league. Some people just really can't afford it, and it's such a good time for these people to get together, um, renew friendships, cheer each other on, and having shirts so that they really feel a part of their team and not singled out that, oh, I can't have one. So um, that, and then we will also have a little money for Christmas gifts for each of the bowling members and scorekeepers and all of our scorekeepers are just volunteer and we're volunteer but we so appreciate this money to make it a better experience for all of those involved in our league thank you good morning my name is Melissa Price I'm the director of the Tip City enrichment program we are very honored to receive a grant today from the foundation that's going to help us purchase equipment for our preschool pre-K programs, mainly to focus on building fine and gross motors. So thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shelley Calvert. I am the Director of Business Development for Isaiah's Place Therapeutic Foster Care and also the founder of We Love Birthday Parties, which is now a program of Isaiah's Place. And I'm accepting $2,000 grant for Isaiah's Place to start a library. So therapeutic foster care is for um, those kids with the most trauma, the hardest cases, the behavioral cases, and um, I think a lot of you in this room know that the uh, opioid crisis that we're all facing right now and some of the issues that are going on has caused uh, a crisis in the foster care industry. So we are gonna use this $2,000 to start a library, a resource library, and we welcome everyone to come use it. And the thing I'm most excited about is that we're going to buy life skills books for our foster care families to use with our young people in the home. So we're so grateful. Thank you, Miami County. Gary Wilber, Superintendent, uh, Troy Christian Schools, and uh, we too obviously are grateful for many, many years of support for our school. Two grants that we received, the first one of $2,000 for our early childhood program, which the funds from that will allow us to enhance our literacy and STEM program at the early childhood level. And then the second grant of $3,900 will be used for our engineering and robotics program that we have begun initially, initiated uh, two years ago at Troy Christian. And that allows us to buy two uh, Yos Yoskawa Motoman Motosin Touches, which we are part of, uh, again, enhancing the learning for our students that are going into engineering or bodies. Thank you. Hi, I'm Renee Matsunami from Child Care Choices. I'm accepting this award on behalf of the Miami County Early Childhood Focus Group. It's a collaborative of early childhood education organizations. And this grant um, gives us the opportunity to bring in an internationally recognized ed early education expert to speak on the topic of developmentally appropriate media for young children. And thank you to the Miami County Foundation. I'm Carla Berkey, and I'm the Executive Director of the Rehabilitation Center in Nicholas School in Piqua. We serve infant children and adults with uh, brain injury. And we are using our grant to purchase an outdoor musical instrument. We are developing a sensory garden, which has been a dream of ours for many years. So thank you to um, Foundation for um, supporting us. We have purchased uh, floor scrubbers in the past, uh, floor equipment, um, or um, pool equipment. So, so many different things. So um, thank you very much for your support. Uh, good morning, I'm Tim Langender for the Art Teacher at Lehman Catholic High School. I'd like to thank the Foundation uh, for the funds, we are going to purchase drawing casts, plaster drawing casts, and also um, model skulls for our anatomy drawing and also our classical drawing program. I brought a couple of pieces of art. Uh, Troy Resident, Elliot Gillardi, 
And I'll leave these here so you can take a look at them. I'm going to go teach class, but then Missy Bennett will bring them back to school. And also Piqua resident, Allison Bornhorst. So this is going to be a great blessing to us. The uh, program we have, I think, is only one of three high schools in the country that have this involved of a classical atelier style drawing program. Thank you very much. Good morning. I'm Missy Bennett, the Executive Director at Lehman Catholic High School, and I'm richly blessed to be saddled with wonderful people who are working in our building and making things very special to help people again here in this area. First off, let me say thank you to the Miami County Foundation for supporting Lehman Catholic with four grants totaling $3,182, one of those being Mr. Langen Durford's. Uh, you are supporting the science program and uh, helping us purchase a spectrometer for the classroom. Uh, we need that in order to do our science experiments there. And then, of course, we have a uh, request for purchasing books in the classroom to support our uh, English and literature work there at Lehman Catholic. And then finally, the storage cabinets for our STEM with the Triple M program uh, that will be housed in our manufacturing and engineering component. Uh, we are one of a kind in the state of Ohio where we articulate our credits with the University of Dayton. And imagine this, they're requiring certain equipment and pieces be in the classroom for that instruction and therefore your cabinets will allow this to happen. Uh, so again, thank you, and uh, may God richly bless all of you. I feel like this is a wonderful room of just goodness. Good morning, I'm Carol Laughman, the 80 Grand Center at Conover. Uh, this year, we um, are receiving a grant for upgrading of the interior of the building. We uh, are getting uh, energy efficient lighting in our fitness area as well as um, a lock, a keyless lock system where uh, our fitness zone is more available to people around the clock. And also upgrading carpet, which is numerous years old. So um, we uh, uh, thank the foundation. I wanted to mention that we did receive our, our chairlift last year. It's in and, and working beautifully, and we certainly appreciate that. Thanks again to the foundation. Good morning. I'm Dawn Oates, the elementary librarian at Cookson Elementary, and this is Shelley Stewart. She's a third grade teacher at Cookson. We are so thankful to the Miami County Foundation for their generous support of uh, Cookson Elementary. The funds uh, awarded today will be in, uh, Ohio author Linda Stanick to our building and Bruckner Nature Center to help make real world connections to the books that she writes. Uh, the th uh, funds will also be used for our third graders to uh, move around Troy and get a better sense of the history of Troy through landmarks and interactions uh, and have a better understanding of the community that they live in. So thank you so much for your support and congratulations to all the recipients. Good morning, I am Trish Steeman and I'm the Recovery Coordinator from Safe Haven Incorporated. And with me is Susan Libby, she's our payee show coordinator. Um, we are a walk-in center for mental health support systems here in Miami County. And one of our most important jobs is the payee ship coordinator. Um, we provide payee ship services to over 100 people in the community. Um, and our grant money will be used to purchase a new computer system that Susan will be using and purchase the technical support that we use for that programming. So thank you very much to the Miami County Foundation. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Jessica Eccles and I'm the Executive Director of Partners in Hope in Troy. Um, I would like to thank the Miami County Foundation for being a long, long, long time supporter of Partners in Hope. We have been doing relief education and development programs in the community for 27 years now. And uh, so far this year we have served over 800 non-duplicated families just in Troy and Cast Town. Uh, I'm accepting two grants today. And you can tell I'm a little bit emotional because I'm 
I could not possibly be more excited to announce what we're doing. Our first grant is the ongoing humanitarian grant. It's for $1,875. It will help us provide utility assistance and support to families who are really struggling at this time. There's a lot of families having a hard time making ends meet, even though they are working in our community to better their families. Um, the second uh, grant we are receiving is the most exciting thing I think I could announce. Um, we received $15,000 and uh, we are officially announcing that uh, we closed on a piece of property uh, this week in Troy. So please drive by the corner of Race and Mulberry as much as you possibly can to see the project, uh, to see our brand new building. Uh, we are so excited about being able to do that and the Miami County Foundation has truly made that possible with their years of support as well as this very generous gift. Uh, we look forward to expanding in the upcoming year, not only to serving Troy and Castown residents, but also reaching some of the smaller communities within Miami County uh, that we have not been able to serve in the past and that often uh, there's a lot of families in need there as well. So thank you so much and uh, I can't wait to show you a picture of the final product next year. Good morning, I'm Stan Fessler representing Newton Township Trustees. Many years ago, the trustees, residents of Pleasant Hill, and the school district, we all decided we needed a park in Pleasant Hill, Newton Township. Um, from the beginning, Miami County Foundation has been there supporting us with the purchase of land. Finally got a walking trail in about three years ago. Um, last year, we received a grant for park benches and swings along the trail. And this year, I'm happy to say we received $1,500 towards the matching funds for trees to make the walking trail a little more aesthetically pleasing. So it's tremendous to watch all the residents in town and township enjoying the park that's um, just getting underway. Thank you very much, Miami County Foundation. Uh, I'm Tina Short, a teacher at Newton Local Schools, and I am one of the residents who has been enjoying the walking path, so thank you, Miami County Foundation, for your help there. <laughs> Um, and I'm also very thankful to them for giving us $6,000 to buy um, some uh, uh, electronic probes for uh, um, the uh, chemistry program. We're going to have uh, drop counters and automatic stirrers and um, uh, lab quests, which are these wonderful little devices that uh, allow students to collect stuff electronically. Um, and I checked with a university professor and said, you know, am I being too forward in, in doing this tech? And she said, no, the more tech you have in the lab, the more it's going to be like what they get out in the real world. So thank you for letting us teach science in a real world way. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Amanda Bennett. I'm the county director with Ohio State University Extension here in Miami County. And um, we are an educational organization that provides um, evidence-based educational programming on a variety of topics to um, all residents of Miami County. I'm Alicia Barton. I'm the Family and Consumer Science Program Coordinator with the OSU Extension. And our grant today was for, we purchased some smoothie bikes. You may have seen us at the county fair or at Troy Street Soul Live with some smoothie bikes. And we're just really excited. We had a great, um, and we had great interactions with people in our community as we promoted healthy living and vegetables and fruits and you know physical activity. And so we're really excited to bring these smoothie bikes to Miami County permanently and bring talking about healthy living and exercise in a really exciting, engaging way. So if you're interested in these bikes, they were purchased for our county. So let us know. Good morning, I'm Galen Gingrich, Assistant Superintendent of Tip City Schools, and I want to thank the foundation for their generous gift of $2,070. Um, part of it is for first grade, they're going to have um, Boone Shaw coming with an exhibit on the go for Hop, Wiggle, and Roll, which is um, healthy living for kindergarten students. And our third graders will be doing a historical visit to um, Pickwick Historical so um, Society's um, Johnson Farms. So thank you again, Miami County Foundation. Good morning, I'm Holly Mills. I'm the elementary librarian at Bethel Elementary School, and I'm accepting two grants today, one for a first grade classroom, who's gonna be receiving a new Chromebook cart and Chromebooks so they can do some um, additional technology learning activities and some differentiated um, learning in the classroom. And the second one, which I'm 
personally very excited about is for the elementary library. We are going to be starting our makerspace activities there. So we'll be doing some um, Keva block building and some connectors. And we will also be putting in a 11 foot by 5 foot Lego wall so the kids will be able to do some STEM related activities to the books that we're reading in the library. So thank you to the foundation for that. Hello, my name is Casey Hines and I am the mayor of Piqua. And to begin with, I want to say thanks to Miami County for the ways that they support our community and the greater Miami um, County as well because you, the money that you give does um, make our communities, all of our communities, better and much, um, much more um, appropriate for our, for our citizens and the things that they receive as well. I am here today to accept a grant, um, and I'm really excited about this because it's a, con it's a collaboration, um, and I think the more that we can work together, the stronger that we can be. And this is um, between the City of Piqua, the Piqua Area Chamber of Commerce, Main Street Piqua, Piqua Arts Council, and Piqua City Schools. As mayor, my job is to help promote our community, and so what we are coming together as a community to do is to put together a music video to promote the amenities of our community, not only to our community, but to the wider Miami Valley, and, um, and also wider Ohio and the country as well. Um, these videos are shared on social media, and so we are excited to come together, and we are thrilled with this money that will help to support our effort. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I'm Anna Ballmeister, and I am the co-chair of uh, the Garden Tribe Project. And uh, you're probably wondering, whoa, what is that? We, um, as Mayor Hines said, um, we've, we have uh, so many different parts of this project. Um, Amanda Bennett, who was just up here, has helped us with the Master Gardeners, and Casey, our mayor, is on our committee and what we're doing is um, we are actually building a schoolyard garden we've had our first harvest spinach I might say the kids were <laughs> um, like maybe not too excited about that but but um, what can I say anyways uh, we do appreciate Miami County Foundation support on this because what started out as an idea has now become a community project and I would love it if each of you would drive by take a look at the garden it is truly amazing um, it's located directly across from uh, Piqua Central at, at, um, on Nicklin Avenue and um, just look to your left when you drive by because um, we're kind of off the road and um, you're not, you're just, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. We have 13 garden beds in there and we're growing and with the support of the Miami County Foundation, we're just going to get bigger. So, um, thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Matthew Linkson. I'm a history teacher at Covington High School. Um, one of the things that I like to do as a history teacher is do the best I can to bring in activities and uh, anything I can really to help bring history to life for students within my classroom. And the funds that are being provided for me by the Miami County Foundation are going to help me to purchase a set of board games, um, which really help to bring the Cold War to life as it will pit students against each other as the Soviet Union in, in the United States and will help them to really understand the political um, struggle that shaped the modern world. It's something I'm very excited about and it may seem minimal, but as an educator, I'm incredibly excited about this opportunity to be able to bring history to life within my classroom. And I want to thank the Miami County Foundation for all that they do. Thank you. Good morning, Tom Grimm, Miami County Recovery Council. We are an outpatient counseling center located here in Troy. We're in our 40th year of serving folks from the county with addiction and mental health needs. And the Miami County Foundation has been very supportive of our organization over the years and, and very pleased about that. Um, <clears throat> this grant award, uh, we've known for a while as, as a counseling agency, we're good accommodating folks, always try to see the best in people, but, and we have three buildings on our campus, and we've known for a while that our building, we're a little too accommodating. People can walk in, there is no security system at all, uh, we want to be welcoming to our clients, but also safe to our staff. And every time there's been an active shooter situation, especially my staff comes to me and goes, we need to do something. 
So we got together a committee of employees and board members and talked about the need to have some sort of a security system in place to kind of increase the safety for all folks who come to our agency. And this award is um, going to pay for 50% of our security project, and we're very grateful for that. Thank you. My name is Stacy Lehman. I'm director of the County Line Christian Association in Bradford. We own and operate the depot building, which is uh, home to a youth center and several community feeding <coughs> ministries as well. Money we received today, $7,889, will go to help us to complete phase two of a three-phase project to improve the front of our building. This will help us to tear off um, a leaky and dilapidated front porch and uh, replace it with something new. And phase three, we are excited, um, will allow us to um, put in a chair lift and make the entire building handicap accessible for all who want to uh, come in and, and partake of our ministries. We'd like to thank the Miami County Foundation for all of your help and support through the years. We could not do what we do and minister to the number of people that we minister to without your help and support. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Natalie Rolfs and I'm the Executive Director of The Future Begins Today here in Troy. And we support Troy students through nurturing, mentoring, and scholarship programs. We wrote this grant to support the fourth eighth grade goes to college program. It's been a wild success, mm -hmm. I think. And um, students are very responsive to this program. It introduces them to opportunities for their education post high school. And I brought with me a special guest today to talk about how we're benefiting 360 of your Troy students. Morning, I'm Kelly Luganic. I am the eighth grade counselor over at uh, Troy Junior High. And I just want to say thank you to The Future Begins Today and the foundation for the money. We um, go, I'm, I, I'm privileged to go on the trip with them. I get to see the light bulbs go off when they realize that at one time they're not always going to be living at home. And then I get to hear the, the, the dreams of I want to live with this person and I want to go to these classes. So it's just a really wonderful experience to see um, their eyes open and to see the future. Thank you. Thank you, Miami County Foundation, for making this possible. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks. Good morning. I'm Debbie Frazier with Green Street daycare and preschool located in Green Street United Methodist Church. We're an outreach ministry of the church. We're a little different daycare in the sense that we don't charge our parents a flat fee. We charge them only by the hour and only for the time that they use. So with that being said, funds are a little tight sometimes and we have been very blessed by Miami County Foundation. And our grant of $3,000 is going to allow for a cleaner place for our infants and toddlers to crawl and play on. So we're very thankful for that, and I'm sure the parents are as well. So thank you, Miami County Foundation. Hi, my name is Casey Tackett, and I'm here in honor of um, Miami County Junior Fair Board. I'm the president of Miami County Junior Fair Board. And with this grant money, we plan on renovating our shop and crop building walls. Um, it sounds like a silly thing, like, wow, the walls, like, but they're actually like flaking down into our eyes and it's pretty bad. Um, thank you, Miami County Foundation, and I encourage all of you to come out to the 2018 Miami County Fair. Morning, I'm Lee Williams on behalf of the Miami County Commissioners. We wanna thank the Miami County Foundation for $3,000 to assist us in putting AED units uh, three in the courthouse first floor, the safety building first floor, and the Hobart Center for County Government first floor. We currently have units um, on the more populated floors where our uh, courtrooms are, um, but we feel that one on each of the main levels would be um, beneficial for our citizens and employees coming and frequenting our building, so thank you. Good morning, my name is Justin Kobe. I'm the Executive Director of Health Partners Free Clinic. And if you could imagine in this age of healthcare turmoil, there's a place in this county where folks can come and for free be seen by a doctor, receive prescription medications, their labs and diagnostics, talk to the social worker, 
get therapy management with a pharmacist all at no cost. That's happening today for the uninsured and underserved here in Miami County. Um, I like to call it the utopia of healthcare. Uh, but none of it would be possible without the Miami County Foundation. Uh, we received today an ongoing humanitarian grant, over $9,000, to help us with our medical services and prescription medication inventory. So we thank them and uh, feel very blessed. Good morning, my name is Corey Kanapke. I'm a representative from Piqua Catholic School. Um, we are very blessed to accept two grants from the Miami County Foundation. The first one is for air conditioning for the lower portion of our building. That's a K through four portion of our building. And many of you can understand that in August, it's very, very hot once you add all the children and all the staff members. So I know I can speak for myself and I speak for the children that we are very blessed to accept the grant to have the air conditioning installed in that portion of our building. Um, the second grant that we will accept today will be for the Muse Machine performance to come to our school, um, hopefully later this winter. The Muse Machine, if you're not familiar with it, is um, a program that they send a representative from the Muse Machine from Columbus to our school for five days. They will teach the children art and music through movement. The children are, are very excited to have two performances to show that to their parents and to the community. So thank you, Miami Foundation, very much for those two grants. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Erin Johnston and I'm here representing the Troy Pop Rocks Jump Rope Team, a group of incredibly hardworking third through eighth grade girls um, in this community. Our mission is to simply be a positive representation of our community and for the girls to serve as positive role models. We are so grateful to the Miami County Foundation for awarding us a grant of $2,100 that will help us with choreography and training expenses so that we can continue to put smiles on everyone's faces that sees us. Thank you. Hello, I'm Becky John. I'm the coordinator for Traveling Smiles Dental Clinic. Uh, we're accepting a grant today that will help pay for examinations of the children in our uh, city schools uh, for dental care. And there are a lot in dire need. So thank you very much. Hi, my name is Faye McNerney. I'm the president of Miami Bucks, and I would like to thank um, so much the Miami um, County Foundation for the $6,000 grant they gave us. Um, we are 501c3, and we give um, trikes that are specially adapted to children and adults with uh, developmental disabilities, and um, we've only really been in existence um, for about a year and a half, two years, um, income tax, uh, IRS kind of messed us up a little bit in being able to give away some things. We've given away uh, 26 trikes so far, and uh, the smiles are just great. The families are now able to have their children ride with them, and they can go on family outings. And this amount will pay for um, approximately 8 to 10 trikes. They cost between $500 and $1,500 because of all the adaptations. So thank you so much, Miami County. Good morning, my name is Christine Salmon and I'm here on behalf of Girls on the Run of Dayton. We are a positive youth development organization uh, that serves uh, Miami County as well as Green, Clark, and Montgomery counties. We partner with some of the schools here in the room and would love to partner with the rest of you to offer our program to girls in the third through the eighth grade. We combine the physical activity of running with a curriculum that's meant to address the whole health of the girl, social, mental, and emotional. So our lessons address things like self-awareness, self-confidence, self-respect, and give the girls tools to build positive relationships with others. So we address topics like bullying and gossip and peer pressure. And then we also work with the girls to uh, serve their communities. So they engage in community impact projects, possibly uh, serving some of your wonderful organizations. So we're very honored to be here among you and thank you to the Miami County Foundation. We'll use our funds to provide financial assistance to the more than 50% of families that uh, request it so that their girls can participate. It's our goal never to turn a girl away and so you're enabling us to meet that goal. Thank you. Hello, I'm uh, Chris Haynes, president and a lieutenant for uh, Covington Fire and Rescue. I'm along with our fire chief, uh, Bart Weir here, and we 
I would like to thank the Miami County Foundation and all the donors for continued support of Covington Fire and Rescue. Today, we are accepting a grant for $5,000 towards the replacement of a 13-year-old thermal imaging camera. Uh, for those of you that may not know, a thermal imaging camera is uh, similar to what you might envision night vision goggles. Uh, it allows us to see um, during search and rescue and heavy smoke conditions, um, a heat signature of a victim or somebody needing rescued. It also allows us to look into, uh, into walls we haven't opened up to see for hot spots or if there's fire in the wall. And it also has unique um, uses uh, if we come on to the scene of an accident where um, everybody's unfortunately been ejected and we're not sure how many victims they are. We can look at heat signatures on the seats that they were sitting in to count the number of people that were in the car. So um, it's, a, it's a very good thing for us. Uh, it also is an investment in not just the Co Covington Fire and Rescue, um, probably approaching a third of our runs. Uh, we operate as the second in department to places like Piqua and Bradford and Pleasant Hill. And so um, even though our primary response is in uh, Covington, it will be an investment in um, all of North and Northwest uh, Miami County. So thank you. Good morning, my name is Andy Trezak and I am um, part of the Tip City Music Boosters. We support the band, the choir, and um, also the guard and the drum line. Um, this is our first grant actually from the Miami County Foundation and we are ever so grateful. Um, we are purchasing a golf cart and it sounds like a really kind of lame expense, but that expense allows the band to move their equipment during marching band season. It also allows them, they follow the band during parades and things like that to help children who are injured or anything like that. So it's a necessary um, product and we've had one for about 10 years that's really at the end of its life and we hope this one will last 10 more years and each year we have over 200 kids in the marching band so it really does impact a huge part of our um, student population and we're so grateful to the foundation for that so thank you so much hello uh, my name is brian edwards and i'm the president of piqua braves youth baseball organization and uh, we are very blessed and very thankful to the Miami County Foundation uh, for supporting us uh, for the second year in a row. We, uh, we just started last year and uh, with uh, 40, 40 youth um, boys in our community and now we've grown to 70. Um, but we recognized uh, a lacking uh, need and that was for player safety. And so the grant that we received from the Miami County Foundation this year was to purchase two uh, automated external defibrillators because youth baseball actually is one of the highest risks uh, for sudden cardiac death um, among all the youth sports. So we wanted to make sure that our boys were uh, safe um, at all points um, during their participation. So we're very grateful for the grant. Thank you very much. Good morning. What an amazing room to be a part of to celebrate our community. So thank you first for that. Um, my name is Darlene Langhow. I'm with We Care Arts. We are headquartered in Kettering. I'm the executive director. We serve clients with a varying disability spectrum, people from autism all the way to um, dementia, also developmental disabilities. We are proud to be CARF certified, state mental health certified, and de de developmental disability certified. Our program here in Miami County is with the Chip City High School, Tippecanoe High School, where we um, serve the developmental disability class in a way that expands job skills and reinforces those, along with um, just social skills and art skills, of course. And then we also serve the after school program for all students who would attend Chip City Schools are available to go to that. And due to our positive response to the class, we are looking to expand and uh, looking at real estate in Troy for our day program. So that's really exciting for us, and we want to thank Miami County for the continued export support in that program. Thank you. Uh, my name is Cletus Hawk. I'm here on behalf of the Pickle Fire Department. No one told me today when I came I had to stand up in front of everybody. <laughs> so, um, I'm putting my communication skills to, to work. Uh, the grant that the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the Pickle Fire Department uh, received is for fire prevention materials. Uh, the fire department uh, goes into the community, um, also has the community come in 
and we're using this money to purchase materials to hand out to not only the children, and I'm sure there's going to be some adult education as well. Um, we just had the uh, time change to so make sure if you haven't changed your smoke detector, batteries, uh, and everything. But uh, this is uh, one of the things that we do. So the uh, there you have your your fire prevention. Uh, spiel. Uh, anyhow, uh, the money will be used to buy those materials to uh, educate the community for fire prevention. Thank you. Good morning. I am Rollin Fisher and president of the Ohio FFA Alumni Association and the Newton FFA Alumni. Um, to begin, I would sincerely like to thank the foundation for helping us with our upcoming agriculture event that's going to be held right here at Hobart Arena. We're excited to be able to use the facilities here. Um, Saturday, February 10th, uh, the Ohio FFA Alumni Association and the Miami County Farm Bureau will host an Agriculture Awareness Day here. Uh, primary purpose of the, the event is to highlight the important role that American agriculture provides to our youth in this community as well as all of Ohio. It's open to the public and also all of Ohio and it's not only for adults but we highly encourage the youth to participate in our interactive work, uh, leadership workshops and our agriculture events that we have planned for that day. We're also going to be working on two outreach projects that day. One is for the assembling of personal hygiene kits for Christian Aid Ministries in Holmes County, Ohio. And also attending, attendees are encouraged to bring canned foods which we're going to sort that day and then um, distribute those to our uh, community food banks around this community. Uh, in the evening, we're going to be holding a concert with Peterson Farm Brothers. Uh, if you're not aware of them, check them out on uh, YouTube. They have parody uh, music videos and telling this true story of agriculture. So again, we appreciate this grant money to help us put on this event, and we invite all of you to come. Thank you. Greetings, my name is William Laudermilk and I am professor of English at Edison State Community College in fabulous Piqua, Ohio. And the Edison State English Department and Art Department has received a $2,000 grant to help us produce our uh, literary and photography journal excursions. We are interested in helping community members publish small works of fiction, nonfiction, poetry, drama and photography and that could be you so if you are interested check out the Edison website for how to submit your work for publication in this literary and photography journal journal and I just want to say I feel really encouraged by all the good that's in this room thank you uh, to the foundation and thank you all for doing su such wonderful work in the community have a great day Good morning. Uh, my name is John Pelletier. I'm the library director at the J.R. Clark Public Library in Covington. Um, this morning, uh, the reason we're here is because of the Miami County Foundation's generous donations. Uh, this morning, our library has received a donation for $3,000 to purchase a smart board and uh, the accompanying projector with it. I'm relatively new to my position, but one of the things that was really obvious when I joined the library was we had a uh, lacking of technology to offer the, our patrons in the community. So because of this grant uh, from the foundation, we're able to offer 21st, uh, 21st century technology to our patrons so they can be successful. So thank you. Good morning. I am Kimma Cunningham, and I am the pastor at Richards Chapel United Methodist Church. And we have a grant today to help us continue work with our lunch program. We have a program that goes from Monday through Thursday, daily from 12 to 1, and it is open to the community for anyone who needs a meal. So we think that those folks that need meals are the folks that are homeless, and sometimes they are. Folks that don't have jobs, sometimes they are. But they're also for people who figure if I can get a meal in, then maybe I can use that money to do some other things and help my family. So it's to all of the community and it is open. We want to make connections um, as we use this money to continue the program to also look 
at how we can better serve the individuals with their other needs. So we are grateful to the Miami County Foundation for this grant and we will use it wisely and be good stewards to help our community. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jason Hawk. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Upper Valley Career Center, uh, accepting two grants. Uh, one is for our Aspire program. The Aspire program helps uh, students go back and get their uh, GEDs. Last year, 22 students were helped with that grant uh, so they can better their lives for their families as well. Uh, the other grant is for laptop carts uh, for Troy High School, our satellite program, so we can provide the one-to-one -one technology into the classrooms uh, with all of those so students have access uh, to that technology. So thank you to the foundation. Good morning, I'm David Cobb. I'm a board member with the Torrance Medical Benevolence Fund here in Miami County. We operate as an arm of Trinity Episcopal Church. Dr. Torrance um, was a longtime uh, member of our parish and a longtime doctor, of course, in the community. And our foundation was named after, in his memory, it was not funded by, uh, by his estate. We raised our own funds. But our mission is to, uh, the people we work with in the county have short-term medical needs, and we're able to jump in and, and assist in many ways there. Our customers, if you will, come to us through a referral system and a, uh, well, a covey of partners that we enjoy, uh, health partners, Partners in Hope, the dental clinic. We've initiated a, a relationship with the Recovery Council, um, Pickwick Compassion Network. We want to be your friend. Um, but I am very pleased to accept uh, this uh, grant for $2,000, which will get back into the community very soon. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Susan walker Ham, and I am the Development Director for Hospice in Miami County. We have had the privilege of serving all of our patients and families for the last 34 years here in the community, and today we have the privilege of serving 165 patients throughout Miami County today. Um, with our grant from the Miami County Foundation, we are going to be celebrating Christmas with all of our patients and families. Um, this will allow us to take Christmas trees that are decorated um, from our volunteers, and our volunteers will deliver those um, to our patients no matter when they consider Christmas um, throughout the entire year. So thank you again to the Miami County Foundation. Good morning, I'm Ryan Casto. I'm from New Creation Counseling Center. Uh, we're outpatient mental health counseling and psychiatric care. Uh, our mission is to provide uh, care to people in this community regardless of their ability to pay. I'm particularly proud of our psychiatric program. Recently, with the hiring of a psychiatric nurse practitioner, we've been able to triple the amount of hours that we can offer to our clients. Uh, very grateful to Miami County Foundation. Uh, this grant money helps to pay for psychiatric care for, uh, for folks who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford it. So thank you so much. Hi everybody, I'm Deb Grant. I'm the cook at St. Pat's Soup Kitchen and sometimes I think it should be called the five-star restaurant in Troy, Ohio. <laughs> Soup Kitchen tends to have a stigma to it and um, I didn't know I'd be speaking either. Dick went to eight o'clock mass this morning and when he got out at 9 o'clock, he said, Dad, can you run over to the Hobart room and pick up a check? So I'm like, sure. Anyway, I was painting. It's all over my head. Um, he had a doctor appointment this morning. So the $1,250 grant that we're receiving will go toward non-perishable. Um, we we're, again, we're so blessed with volunteers and donations of food, but we do need to purchase paper towels and napkins and dairy, sometimes milk, butter, eggs. Um, we also will be serving on Christmas Day. We cook and prepare for a couple of days and then have lots of volunteers and it's, it's just amazing. The drivers, the food is delivered. Anybody who calls and requests a meal, one will be delivered in Miami County to all of the, you know, as far out as Covington, Castown, wherever. A hot meal, Christmas dinner, it's ham, it's delicious. It's actually needs to be put into two carryouts because it's so much food and so those are an added expense that we'll have and we just are grateful for the continued support i see a lot of our helpers here and once again thank you very much i think i'm the last one <laughs> well once again it's been an hour 
Give yourself a hand. You did a great job. You know, I heard some of you talk about a gift. I've heard some of you talk about an award. I've heard some of you talk about a grant. I want you to know our board and our volunteers see it as an investment. And we're so appreciative of the return on our investment. You do a great job. We've had some board members who arrived. Uh, Brad Vath is in the back of the room. Brad is the chairman of our board of directors. And I think Mike Moore, I saw Mike. Mike, Mike is waving, uh, glad to see you. And uh, Scott Oda was here as one of our advisory committee members uh, working in the area of, of uh, finances. And he, he had to leave. I hope the stock market's not having a problem, but he, he had to leave early. And then Derek uh, Petri is also here. I think he's from Fifth Third, right? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you for your advice also. <laughs> Cheryl, is there anything else that needs to be said? You're good. Well, good. Uh, before, we, before we start the tour, for those of you who would like to take that tour, I'd like to recognize my friend, the mayor of Troy, uh, Mike Beamish, his wife Jenny, stand up, Mayor, we're glad to be here in this great facility. <laughs> With that, as we have the Thanksgiving season approaching, once again, we're grateful for the work that you do. Thank you for being people, helping people. That concludes our program. <laughs>